Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to carve a basket weave design onto wood knife handles. Now we're not going to use chisels uh, in order to carve this. We're going to kind of do it the easy way. We're going to use a Dremel grinder. This, but these particular handles were used on a uh, machete project, uh, just an old machete that I wanted to spruce up a little bit. Uh, and the wood is walnut. The end result is pretty nice, and it was actually a, a pretty easy do-it-yourself project. Really, the hardest part um, about it was drawing the basket weave. Now, you could certainly uh, download um, you know, a design on the internet and, and transfer it uh, with carbon paper um, you know, onto your wood blanks. Uh, but in order to draw it, and, and it's actually pretty simple, if you just draw parallel lines um, with a pencil, creating a grid. Then on the same side of each vertical line and on the same side of each horizontal line, draw smaller square boxes in pen. Everything that we draw in pen is going to be our cut lines. Those little square boxes are going to be the gap in between each one of the weaves. Now we're going to start to draw uh, the actual um, horizontal and vertical lines. You're going to start on the inside corner of one of the little squares and curve inward down to the inside corner. Same thing on the other side of that same penciled box. Then opposite on the box below it and above it. Outside corner of the little uh, ink square curved out. Outside corner curved out. And you would continue just alternating um, in the, on the vertical. So whereas one goes from the inside corner curved in, the other goes from the outside corner curved out. Then when you move to either le the left or right, you look at the pencil box. If the left hand side of the pencil box is inside corner uh, curved in, then you have to match it on the other side. So this one is inside corner curved in, this one's outside corner curved out. And really it's just a matter of repeating that process. And you can do it in any size you want. Now, in order to draw the horizontal lines, start with a box that has the inside curve. You're going to start on the opposite corner, and it's going to curve outside corner out. And then this one is going to be from the bottom box, outside corner out. It really depends on which box you're looking at. And then it alternates from side to side. So if one line is outside corner out, uh, going from left to right, then the next line is going to be inside corner curved in. This one's going to be, it, you know, if you're looking at the bottom, the bottom box, that's inside corner in, this will be inside corner in. It takes a little bit of practice, uh, but it is really a pretty simple uh, process. You know, once you do it a couple of times, uh, then you can do it on even any curved a piece of wood that you're going to use. This is one of the Dremel tools and we're going to use this as the first step in the wood carving process to carve out each one of those little ink uh, boxes. Then I'm going to use a cutting tool like this in order to cut each one of the curved lines. And I'll do all of the curved lines in the same direction. Then I'll pivot the piece and do the lines in the next direction. And I'll pivot the piece um, you know, all the way around until I get all of those lines cut out. Now, a wood carving friend of mine, you know, told me that these curved lines really illustrate the basket weave on a flat piece of paper. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the next tool that I'm going to use to, to curve that wood inward. Um, he said you really don't have to use curved lines. You could use straight lines because we're going to be carving these. Um, but I find that when you use the straight lines, it's much more difficult um, in your mind to figure out which piece has to be carved down and which piece has to be left, um, you know, left straight. So for carving purposes, I find it easier to use those curved in and curved out lines. And this is just another uh, grinding tool. You can either use the sanding disc or a grinding tool, and we're going to curve or, or grind down each one of those um, pieces of material that theoretically goes under the weave. So now we'll start the process. Um, I'm going to start with a scrap piece of walnut. 
Um, and it, it doesn't matter if you're making a knife handle or, or pistol grips, um, whatever, whatever project it is that you're working on, um, you basically just want to sketch the outside, uh, outside diameter or outside outline of that object, and then you can just cut it out on a pin saw or a band saw. I usually leave mine just a little bit oversized, and once I uh, glue these handles in place and pin them in place, um, I'll do the finished grinding, you know, after the blade is attached. I'm also going to mark uh, how I want to curve those wood handles so that they fit nicely in your hand. Um, when you're going to do a carving like this, you do want to curve or grind that curve prior to doing any of the, of the grinding. And I just use a, a two-inch belt sander and just roughly uh, rounded each one of those scales to shape. And you see I've got the curve there. So now I'm going to do the exact same process that I did on paper on uh, this walnut blank. I'm just using a straight edge. I'm drawing parallel lines. Those lines are done in pencil. And then I'm going to use, in this case, a small marker instead of a pen. It just kind of shows up a little bit better. I'm going to draw the small squares that indicate the space uh, in between each one of the weave. And again, you're going to draw each one of these uh, squares on the same side of each vertical line and on the same side of each horizontal line. Once all the little squares are done, I'm going to do my um, my vertical, you know, inside corner to inside corner, outside corner curved out to outside corner, then this is inside corner to inside corner curved in and going down outside, just alternating. Once you do, like I said, once you do it a few times, this goes very, very quickly. So that's inside corner curved out. The next one's that curved in, curved out, curved in. And then I'm going to move uh, to my horizontal lines. And if you have any um, concerns, you can either just pause this video uh, or you can print out um, a design and just you know, look at it as you're doing it, as you're making uh, you know, your marks. You know, if you're going horizontal or vertical along the same line, uh, it, each one is opposite. You know, if one's curved in, the next one's curved out. So this one will be curved upward. Next one will cur be curved inward. Anyway, after, after a few minutes, uh, and that's really all it takes is a few minutes, you get the design completely uh, drawn out on uh, the knife handle blank, and it's time to start cutting. So this is that first Dremel um, tool. Uh, actually, it's the second Dremel tool that I showed you. This is the little cutting wheel, and I'm going to use this to cut each one of those lines. And I do just arc them slightly, and just the pivot of my hand. Now, I'm doing something that I... I did this kind of out of sequence. I really should have uh, ground away each one of those little uh, ink squares first. Um, I would have had ended up with a much better end result if I had done so. But this was my first attempt, uh, so it's a little bit of a learning curve. But really, the first process, the first step that you should do, is using a very small Dremel tool, just grind away um, each one of those little uh, squares. And that will be the relief so that when you're cutting with this tool, you've got a space on the left and a space on the right that you're grinding uh, into and away from. And 
this is just finishing up all of those lines. I've rotated this piece, you know, 360 degrees. I've done basically all of that um, line grinding or line cutting. Just a, a little bit of a better view of the particular cutting wheel that I used for the lines. And then the next step, uh, either a small drum uh, sanding wheel or a small grinding um, bit. Either way, what you want to do is you want to curve inward or curve down, grind down every uh, piece of that weave that is going to theoretically go under another piece. And again, I'm, I'm really going to do, you know, every uh, every piece that's vertical uh, while I'm holding the piece in this in this direction, and then I'm going to rotate the piece and do, you know, all of the all of the pattern in the other direction. And you have to, you know, make of course four turns and go 360 degrees before you'll get all of this done. But each one only takes a couple of seconds. You're just curving it in and giving that illusion that that um, segment of wood is actually a, a part of that basket weave that's going to go underneath the other weave. So now I'm using the smallest tool uh, in order to try to go back and create those little uh, squares. Uh, this is what I should have done as the first step um, because then I would have seen those squares in ink and I would have been able to carve them a little bit more accurately um, rather than just taking, taking a stab at where each one of them should be. Um, for my next project, I'm definitely going to do it the right way and I should end up with even a, even a better result. Although I was pretty pleased with the way that these came out. The last step, and then this is only if you want to, I did put some, um, some lines running in the same direction as the weave. Um, so on, on each piece that ran vertical, I put vertical lines, and then I turned the piece, and on each um, weave that ran horizontal, I put lines in the opposite direction. And it just visually makes that weave pattern re really kind of pop out. And I just did this with a, you know, with a very small diamond, um, diamond bit. You could even put scratch, scratch marks on with a little uh, razor knife would do, do the same job. So now the basket weave um, is finished, and I'm just going to mount this uh, to the machete just like I would mount any other knife scales. I use brass pins and I use a two-part epoxy. And I clamp it all together overnight. Um, once uh, that epoxy is completely dry, then I unclamp it and I do my finished grinding um, on the belt sander, bringing in uh, this, the size and shape of those handles so that they match uh, the full tang of, of the machete. And then for the inside curves, I did use a, a Dremel grinder with a little uh, drum sanding wheel uh, just to get rid of some of that um, excess wood on the inside that I couldn't get at with that two inch belt sander. But that's all just standard, you know, knife ha uh, handle attachment. I did use a 220 grit um, sandpaper on an oscillating sander uh, just to really polish down um, the brass pins and to polish uh, both ends of the handle which don't have the, uh, the basket weave design. And then as a final step, this is, I, I think I mentioned before, I used walnut for this project. Um, I used a little bit of um, cutting board oil and gave those uh, scales a good coating of oil. That walnut really soaks it in nicely and it gives it a nice luster uh, and a nice finished color. It really protects the wood nicely also. 
and that's it. That's a, that's the finished product. Um, you know, a nice walnut, uh, hand carved basket weave design, all done uh, very quickly, very easily with a Dremel grinder. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, by all means, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com and check out our other knife making as well as do-it-yourself projects. Thank you very much.